Hello, my name is James, I'm the Mayor of Jamestown, and guess what we got a couple of days ago? We did, in actual fact, get some Wild Hearts gameplay finally, and it's actually answered some of the questions that I've already had about the game, obviously I've still got more, but for the most part it's answered a lot of what the reveal trailer kind of kept secret really. So I'm going to do a quick little gameplay analysis on the gameplay trailer and sort of see what we can expect from Wild Hearts going forward. At the start of the trailer they show off sort of how you are going to traverse this new land and from the looks of things it seems to be a sort of open ended level by the looks of things, more so how Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter World have started doing things. Instead of something like Tokaden or the older school Monster Hunter titles where you have a big sort of area but it's all sort of sectioned off into its own little mini areas which require a loading screen to get to. This seems more open ended which is understandable because we kind of have the hardware to do that now. During the exploration side of things we did see a couple of things for the construction mechanic that we've not seen before. For instance, players can actually create zip lines between two areas, which traverses a ton of distance, which seems like it's going to be sort of like the go-to way to get around the map for the most part. There was also a springboard type situation and also a weird sort of dash mechanic, which was used more so in the fights. While it seems it's more useful for fighting and slaying monsters, it probably will have its use in traversal as well. Now the actual building mechanic itself, we don't really see how they do it. So in the trailer you see them with like a block interface, but for some reason there's no HUD, which I imagine is just for the fluidity of the gameplay trailer. So we don't really know how building stuff works. From the way it looks in the trailer, I'm guessing that we press a button to engage making constructions or whatever, and then you can select quickly from a bunch of options and maybe for a certain combination of button presses you get a certain particular construction. Until they release more details or they show some gameplay where the HUD is actually turned on, we simply do not know how the mechanic is going to work. Or whether or not it will be integral to gameplay, because while the gameplay trailer does show everyone using and utilising the mechanic a lot, what they show in a trailer versus how players hunt optimally are two very different situations. If you've seen anyone that has spent like a thousand hours in Monster Hunter, the way they play in gameplay trailers compared to how real people will efficiently hunt one single creature for an armor set, completely worlds apart. But from what we've seen of the construction mechanic, it seems like a good bit of fun. It may not be integral to the optimal way to play, by the game's end game, but from the start of things it looks like it'll be a fun gimmick nonetheless. Moving away from the construction side of things, we do have a couple of gameplay mechanics that you would expect from a monster hunting title, such as being able to cut the parts off of monsters or beasts or demons, whatever they're going to call it in this game, along with being able to harvest ingredients or materials, whatever you want to call it. I think they call it ingredients in this one. But yeah, unsurprisingly there's a harvesting mechanic. It, would, it wouldn't be a very good monster hunting title if it didn't. Moving on to gameplay, it's confirmed that there's going to be elements in the game as we can see the dude ignites his sword and it surrounds it with fire. It begs to reason that there's going to be different elements that are weak and strong against other certain weaknesses and strengths and element types. Whether they'll have any reactions or anything like that we'll have to wait and see but obviously there's going to be elements in the game. Now this part might be slight speculation, it's kind of hard to prove, but there's a special move the dude does a couple of times where he sort of charges, unsheaths his sword, does a little spinny twirl attack and then slices something really hard. Now it looks like a skill, but I cannot tell if it's just part of the weapon's moveset or if it's a dedicated skill button or what it's going to be. It looks like some sort of dedicated skill. Speaking of the weapons, we got Probably the biggest highlight for me is one, a new weapon type, and two, they all but confirmed there is stance weapon switching, whatever you want to call it. In the trailer, a dude jumps off of a cliff to help the other two players fighting a monster, not to mention they demonstrated really hard when there was one player, when there was two, and when there was three. So I think they're trying really hard to make it pretty obvious that there's only going to be a max of three players online. Back to the guy jumping off the cliff though, he was equipped with two 
blade-like tonfers. I don't really know what exactly they are. They look like tonfers, but they also look like daggers. They're definitely going to be my weapon of choice, that's all I have to say. But as we saw in the trailer, they combine into what looks like a staff. But then on top of that, they recombine into what is essentially a massive shuriken from Naruto. You cannot tell me that is not extremely cool. But again, they made a point of really sort of zooming in on the fact that, hey, the two dagger tonfus thing turned into a staff, but then it also turned into a massive shuriken, which demonstrates the fact that weapon switching most likely, or is albeit but confirmed at this point, to be a main gameplay mechanic of the game. Outside of this, the only other stuff we seem to have seen is a couple of different constructions. So we saw a sort of big giant wall that will knock the monster over depending on if they hit into it then on top of that we've also got the fact that the monsters will get enraged the more damage they take and whether you break off parts by the looks of things which is all pretty standard monster hunting affair but it's good to have it in the game nonetheless from there though i think that's all i really have to say on the matter hopefully i've not missed anything and again all of this is speculation all of this could change probably unlikely the game's coming out in about five months but for the time being Take it all with a pinch of salt, it could change, we don't know how they're going to update the game, we don't know what they're going to fix, add, change or whatever until the game is officially released and in players hands essentially. Hopefully we learn a little bit more about the game in its coming months, there's a lot more we don't really know and it'd be nice to hear a bit more information about it and any new mechanics they may not have touched upon. I would also kill for some more gameplay. And more weapon types. Please show off more weapon types because the new tomfa is really cool and i would like to see what else can be brought to the table for now though i will have to leave it there i've been james the mayor of jamestown be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff thank you for those that stuck around until the end hopefully i didn't miss anything in the gameplay trailer let me know down in the comments below if i did and hopefully i will try and re sort of catch up to it the next time i make one of these videos but until then though goodbye